our first item of business today is time for reflection. And our time for reflection leader today is the Reverend Jenny M. Adams, Minister of Duffus, Spiney and Hopeman Church in Murray. Presiding officer, members of the Scottish Parliament, thank you for the opportunity to address you today. I am a parish minister in a beautiful slice of Murray. There's variety in landscape, from beaches through farmland to forestry, with a neighbouring RAF base and a major town. There's diversity in the communities of fishing and farming, schools and armed forces, commuters and retirees. I enjoy great variety and diversity in my work, as do most ministers and yourselves as MSPs and ministers. Most days deal with life and worship in the communities I serve when I'm welcomed into people's lives, particularly at beginnings and endings. I have responsibilities in presbytery, playing my part in governance and mutual support. There's national work in the Church of Scotland's panel on review and reform, trying to find out what God's doing in Scotland and join in. So there's great variety and diversity in people, contexts and timescales, and a fair number of meetings. And that may sound familiar, and you have a lot more folk to worry about. The variety and diversity are great. It's a privilege to be invited into people's lives and to help when we can. But there are challenges of time and priorities. Who can we give time to in a full diary? How do we balance looking to the future with getting through now? We need time with friends and family. And when do we enjoy fullness of life for body, mind and spirit? Sometimes it can be helpful to reflect on why we're doing what we're doing. I would talk of that as calling. You could think of motivation. You may or may not give God a place in your vocation. But I'm guessing none of you went into politics for convenient working hours and universal approval, but to make a difference locally, nationally, and globally. When we do what we're drawn to, serving those we're called to serve, and sharing our lives we're given to live and work with, then even the difficult days can also bring fulfillment. It doesn't mean we don't do other duties too, and it certainly includes life beyond work. But reconnecting with why can guide how we deal with the great variety and diversity of people and tasks life and work bring us. May your calling bring you fulfilment and make Scotland a better place for all. <laughs> 